police service has spoken and according to them they have not arrested Bongo Ideas. According to Ghana police service, no, they have not arrested Bongo Ideas. To them, they've spoken to Bongo Ideas family member and according to that person, Bongo Ideas is at home. So Ghana police service, they've washed their hands on the matter that we don't know anything about it. <laughs> I, we don't know anything about it. Now this whole thing has been a speculation from the beginning. However, the Ghana police service has come out to say that they have not arrested Bongo Ideas. Now this pulls me to three possible outcomes over here. There are three possible endings to this. And I have the full gist. I'm the headless YouTuber, there's headless reactions. I like to Yanko! So this is what the Ghana Police Service has put out. They say Ghana Police Service has not arrested Albert Natai, aka Bongo Ideas. The attention of the Ghana Police Service has been drawn to social media reports that one Albert Natai, aka Bongo Ideas, has been arrested by the police. The Ghana Police Service has not arrested the said individual. The, the police has contacted a relative who has confirmed that Bongo Ideas is at home. This is what the Ghana Police Service has said. However, reports that came, some people were saying that it was the police who, who came to arrest. Some, some also think it's the BNI. Now, if the BNI is the people who came to catch him, that one day the police can say that we've not arrested him. The other people can go and deal with him. Whatever it is, no, yeah, B N I or B I N or whatever. Mm. Oh dear, yeah, let's leave it there. But then there are three possible outcomes to this. The first one, if the Ghana Police Service has not arrested Bongo Ideas, and according to them, they, they contacted a family member or a relative, and this relative has confirmed that he is home, then it means one, this whole thing has been a hoax or a lie. Now, one of the reasons why this could be a lie is that if you check Bongo Ideas' movement on the Ina, the end game is to travel outside Ghana, specifically to the USA. That's the end game, to seek asylum in the USA. Free visa. So the end game is that. So now chairman will just be moving to people recklessly, getting or creating enemies for himself, and then when the heat is too much, to go and shout at the U U.S. Embassy that please say, I'm in danger, my life is in danger, I need asylum. It has happened before. I think last year, he moved to Stoneboy. He posted a picture of Stoneboy and a certain lady, saying that that's a Stoneboy side chick and stuff like that. And the thing got, it, it really got to Stoneboy. To the point where Stoneboy said that, yes, you people are looking for you and will find you. And this guy came to tweet and he actually mentioned the U.S. Embassy saying that Stoneboy has said that people are looking for me and now I, I'm, I don't feel safe. I, I need to leave this country. You, you get the point. So the whole thing is that let me get some people's nerves. Let me create enemies. Let me say things that will hurt people so that people will hate me. So that say American Embassy there, she said to you, you know, they are like, in Guasia 4, 7. So if, if you go and do all your stupid things and then you create enemy for yourself, then now they'll just say, okay, we are going freedom of speech, human rights, come and live in our country. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, now this is the first part. The second part is, if a relative has confirmed that he's at home, could it be that the people who came to take him, they've released him and now he's at home? Or he never left home and this whole thing was planned. If that is true, then who is the person who spoke to Zion Felix? Could it be maybe his girlfriend being because it's a lie and this whole thing was a lie? That's why the girl refused to mention her name. Hi, good afternoon. Hello, yeah, good afternoon. Uh, would you want to mention your name? Um, no. Okay. I to. Okay, Mpacho. What is it? And what's it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Any day. Okay, so the Bongo ideas means. Okay. Oh yeah, me man, me my last born. Okay. Me myself, I didn't know. I only found out recently when I went to the family meeting. Now at this point, there's endless possibilities, and that leads me to the third point. The third point is the boy who cried wolf. 
the boy who cried wolf. If you've read that story before, then you know that this, these things, you know, you see the way it has come, and the whole nation has spoken about it. Later, maybe it will come out that it would have been a lie all this while. It was he and his friends who planned it to spread false news. Fine. It will happen once. The, the media will carry it and talk about it, and then it will come out that it's false news. It will happen the second time. We'll speak about it, and it will come out that it's false news. Guess what? When it happens the tenth time, nobody will care. And that tenth time might probably be the time that is real. And this is the story of, a, you know, the boy who cried wolf. In case you don't know that story, go and check it out. A boy who used to take sheep to the pasture to go and graze. He will be in the pasture with the sheep. And he will always be crying, hey, help me, oh, a wolf is here, a wolf is here. And the villagers will run with machetes and cutlasses and stuff. And by the time they'll get there, he'll laugh at them. Oh, you people, I see that I've tricked you. It wasn't a wolf. Nothing. Look at your faces. Uh -huh. The day a real wolf came, he was shouting. The villagers were there like, oh, this boy, that's how he is. That's how he is. That's how he is. And that day was the day that the wolf really chopped the boy. So if this is, you know, a planned thing from him and maybe his friends or his team, then the boy who cried wolf, that time may come. But personally, what I said in the previous video still stands. I don't care. I don't care whether he is arrested, whether he is taken, or whether he is a lie. I really don't care. Personally, I don't have any emotion for this young man. If something good happens to him, cheers. If something bad happens to him, cheers. Because he has been doing these things. Davido's son died. May the boys uh, so rest in peace. And this guy came to blame the video. He said, use a reckless father. He has been careless all his life. Somebody whose son just died though. Somebody whose son just died. And people will be in the comment section shouting, oh, freedom of speech. Yes, everybody has freedom of speech. But you should have common sense to know that certain things when you say it, you might hurt somebody's feelings. You might, you know, Get enemies, create enemies for yourself. So if somebody has gone to create enemy for himself because he has freedom of speech, and me too that I have freedom of speech, or you that you too you have freedom of speech, you don't create enemies for yourself. And something bad should happen to that person because of the enemies he has created for himself. You want me to care? I don't care. You can come and bash me in the comment section. My my just uh, my stance will not change. <laughs> I so yes. The Ghana Police Service has come out to say that they have not arrested him. According to them, no, a relative has confirmed that he is at home. So whatever it is, I'm very sure if it's planned, he will come out to come and bash everybody on social media. If it's not planned, he will come out to come and say what is going on. When the internet clears and when everything is working properly. Right now, the telcos are having a big time, a big problem. So yes, we wait. Until then, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notification. Yeah, then. Yeah,